by good morning guys we are at the shipping station so you can tell by all the boxes that uh, we're gonna break down eventually but the first order up is the Nike Air Max CB34s in the home colorway we got these for 60 at Marshalls sold for about 123 let's go pack this up all right it's in there now it's looking good on to the next next up is a pair of Metcon 3's for women's size six and a half uh, got these at Burlington's for $37 came with the extra laces still attached uh, yeah let's get these packed up all right shoes are in the box putting some packing material on top of it it's ready to go all right next up for what's sold is this Under Armour base layer jacket with scent control MSRP $79.99. We got it on clearance for $21. Sold for about $60. Uh, not much profit, but we are, should be able to first class this in a uh, envelope. And uh, let's go do that. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to fit it in a padded envelope, so we are just doing the old priority. It's going to cut in the profit a little bit, but got no choice. And that's all ready to go. Next one up is the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknits. Uh, got these for 85. No um, sale that day, but I did use my MVP card, and these ended up only being about, uh, I believe, 65 to 67 dollars. Sold for a clean 200. A really nice shoe, really good size too, size 15. Uh, let's get this packed up. All right, it ended up being a perfect fit, even though it was a size 15 box. And the final order going out for today is the Chester's that we got last night. Uh, they ended up being about 56 bucks. Sold them for 110 on StockX. All right, let's do it. All right, done. Perfect fit. Let's go get these labeled and dropped off. Here are all the orders going out for today. Let's get this bagged up. Done. Okay, just dropped off those packages at the post office. Now we're going to do a little bit of sourcing at Ross. Haven't been to this one in a minute, so let's go see if we can't get anything good. Found the Under Armour hunting bib for $50. This is going to be a size small. These were good um, earlier in the year, but right now they're a little saturated, so we're going to have to pass on that. Walking back to the car now as Ross continues to disappoint. On to the next store. All right, we're just down the street a little bit into Ross number two. All right, we saw some uh, Superfly Elites. These are actually a good track shoe, but they're size 12 and a half, so that's gonna be a hard pass. Cool looking spider jacket for 20 bucks. They do retail for 130, but only selling for about 40, so it's gonna be a pass for me. Yeah, we didn't get anything at that Ross over there. Um, thankfully, the UPS store is just right here, so we're going to drop off a StockX order and uh, go on to the next one. All right, third Ross of the day. I hope we find something in here. Got the Jordan Retro 7 baseball cleats for $16.99. A little too heavy, and the uh, market's saturated on these. Only going for about 50 or 60 bucks. Alright, found the Adidas Fontanka Gold Trap Jacket for a reduced price of $25. These actually retailed at $200, and uh, the lowest listing in a size large, which we have, is $95. With three watchers, so I might price match that listing. But uh, for $25, it's gonna, weigh, it's gonna weigh next to nothing. It'll be shipped out padded envelope, so that's a good find. Found some Metcon 3s, but they're kind of a big for a lady size, 10 and a half, 4, 47. Really depends on the colorway, but we're going to pass on these. Alright guys, we're back in the car now. The only thing we got in there was the gold Adidas track jacket. Uh, final price was about 27 and some change. 27.18. Should be able to sell it uh, around 70, 80, or 90, hopefully. But, yeah. That's going to be it for sourcing this afternoon. We do have work in a couple of hours, so we're just going to go back home, list some things, and get ready for that. It is currently 10.23. Uh, just got off of work a few minutes ago, pulled up to the Ross on the way home. 
this one does close a little later than most stores so let's go in here and try to find something before heading home Roz continues its streak of disappointment time to go home and I think we're gonna have a full day of sourcing tomorrow so save our energy up for that what's good and good morning it is Tuesday and we are back at the Nike let's go check in what's inside all right just got out of the Nike and I was able to pick up 10 pairs of Superfly 6 Elite FG's for Look at that, about $55 a cleat after the MVP. He's retailed at $275. They were on the shelf for $60. Got 10 pairs. Hopefully we'll be able to get 10 more if I come back later. Let's get it. Just coming out of the Marshalls right now. Weren't able to find anything. Still got that high from that soccer cleat haul. That's gonna make us a lot of money. But uh, we're gonna continue on here. See what's in store next. Okay, just dropped off some packages at the post office. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop these shoes off at the pad because these are taking up most of the room in my car and it is only a two-seater, so let's go. Just got done with some lunch. Headed over to the Marshalls right now. Let's go get it. First up is the Nike Air More Up Tempos. They are a grade school, $40. Quick stock X flip for 70, make a quick 20 bucks. Uh, not too much profit, but I don't have to do much, but ship it and pack it, so it's a good one. Also got the Air Jordan 1 Lowe's in the hair colorway for 60. It's gonna pass though. I actually were able to find more Air More Up Tempos, this time size 6Y. Uh, not much on stock X for these, they are 40. On eBay, they are comping for about $80, but for $40, um, I think we'll have to pass. Don't really do much grade school unless it's on StockX. Just got out of Marshalls. The only thing we were able to get were the up tempos here. And, uh, looks like the brown wheat colorway. Uh, yeah, sold them on StockX instantly for $70. They only cost $40. So making about $18, which is, you know, not, mu not much money, but not much uh, work to do, but pack and ship. Uh, so thanks, Marshalls. There were six Ys in there, and they do sell for around $80 on eBay. But for $40, bucks, uh, it's not really in my price point to get them. And I don't mess around with grade school too much at $40. Bucks. So uh, on to the next store. Okay, next stop. Burlington let's get in there found a CR7 Cristiano Ronaldo black waxed biker jacket for 25 bucks uh, no comps on eBay only one listed at about 120 size large with two watchers um, man I don't want to get it but since there's no comps I'm just gonna have to leave this behind but don't know much about CR7 jackets. Cool find though. Back in the car now, wasn't able to find anything at the Burlington's apart from those uh, jackets that I did not bite on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we're gonna go next, but let's see. Welcome back guys. It is later in the evening and we are actually at a, at a store I've never been to before. Never been to this TJ Maxx. This thing looks huge. Um, we're on the hunt, so let's find something good in there. Okay guys, first find is the LeBron 14 Flip the Switch colorway for $38, size 11. Uh, probably going for about 100. Good find. And then after that, let me put this down. It's the Weekend XO collab for 59. These retailed at 275. Might have to take a shot at this. Got that Black Panther embroidery kimono. We'll see. Check this jacket out, guys. It's Pharrell Williams 500 retail hiking jacket. It's got the Boy Scout looking patches on there for 69 on clearance. I think I'm gonna grab these instead of the XO kimonos because these ones actually have comps. Yes, y'all, persistence 
pays off. We were able to nab three of the Pharrell Williams Human Race hiking jackets. Oh, sorry, there goes the light. Those retailed for 500 as you saw on the tag. And we also got a little cherry on top with the flip the switch. The Baron 14s for only $38. Wow, that never I've never had a TJ Maxx hit so hard before. And I've never been to this one because it was just so out of the way, middle of nowhere. But I'm glad I went. Wow, what a find. That was a great haul. I think we're gonna go home now. Very successful day between those cleats and these jackets. I don't know how much profit we're gonna clear, but it's it's up there. Alright guys, let's get out of here.